many animals do. It's often part of their grooming routines and can help them form bonds. Yes, really. In fact, scientists at the California Institute of Technology have just discovered a rare group of sensory neurons that respond to stroking, but not other kinds of touch, in mice. In David Anderson's lab. No, you can't go. His team have been studying the jungle of nerve endings under the skin to work out which ones respond to stroking and which ones respond to other kinds of touch, like poking, the team used fluorescent tags. The tags glow when the neurons are active. Well, first they had to test their method. So they artificially stimulated the neurons using chemicals. And it worked. Then they pinched, poked and stroked the mice on their hind paws. All right then. The researchers saw one group of neurons light up when they stroked and a different group light up when they poked and pinched. That's what the scientists wanted to know, so they set up a test. On day one, they shut the mice in room A and gave them a drug that stimulated their stroking neurons. On day two, they shut the mice in room C and gave them saline solution, designed to have no effect. They alternated between rooms for several days. Then on the test day, they put the mice in the middle, kept the doors open and let them run freely. The mice spent most time in room A. Oh, sorry, the drug only works on their lab mice. Stroking neurons seem to be wired to produce a pleasurable sensation when they're activated. That's why the mice preferred room A. The experiment shows that stroking is positively reinforcing or rewarding, which might explain why animals enjoy grooming. Well, since you're a hairy mammal, like a mouse, it's likely that you've got a similar group of neurons that respond when your own strokes you. Maybe. We aren't as hairy as mice, but we like massages. The end of the mouse neurons looks suspiciously like a receptor found underneath the hairy parts of our skin. So maybe all mammals have stroking neurons. <laughs>